Hello, today we are going to talk about one very important tips and tricks how you can create a SAP substitute a programmatically. Okay, so there are lots of cases where you know the person leaves for vacation or he's out for a uh, disability leave or he's out of the town or similar to like currently we are having the coronavirus they are without any internet access or something they're suffering they're the unfortunate one but uh, unfortunately the show should go on someone needs to take ownership of uh, creating the substitute for that person so ideally when you create a substitute when that person is aware he would have gone here and create a substitute by uh, by creating edit substitute and all those things. But in this case, we cannot get the password for that person. We just cannot call them and give me the password of another person because that's a privacy issue. So how we can do it? So so what in this case what happens is suppose student eleven is the person who will take care of the stuff and student 013 is the person who 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 is absent okay so what we can do is again in sap everything is a code and you just need to have that uh, mindset that anything and everything is possible in sap provided you have the time and money okay and uh, sometimes you also need to know the right people because they can help you out so the first the the, there's a function module so first I go into SE 37 and I went to this and I'll try to search a function module and this function module is this one update sub, substitute list server now why this function module is like this don't ask me uh, so this is the function module that we are going to execute and what we'll go we'll see whether we have some test data yeah, we have some test data okay so but i will just show you how it works so here we will see this is student 011 okay so now also we will see uh let's see what are the different person we have so here swi5 we go so this is swi5 where we want to see what are the items that is available for student 13 or let's see whether we'll see because I let's see what is available okay not found so let's go 12 so 12 is there and whether we'll see now he doesn't have anything so let's make one thing let's see zero nine whether he has something he doesn't also have anything here so we will see zero three he also doesn't have so let's so i think student one three is the one who has a lot of items so let's see we can always search from here okay and here what i'll do is i'll put student this is the wild card and i press this just want to make sure they they have something in their inbox before I venture into it. So this is the last try. We'll see whether he has something or not. Nothing is there. So what we can do is we're going to use one three only. Okay, so one three for sure has a bunch. So we have 105 tasks. Okay. Now here before I do anything, I'll show you in SAP how many tasks he has. He ha I have only five. So now what what I'm going to do is here I will change it. This is student 30. And here I put student 1 1. Okay. And uh, the end date would be this. And let me change this to 21. Okay. And so they I'm thinking that everything this person will be back or this student 1 3 is going for a maternity leave for some time and then he's taking a leave of absence so so we are going to update it for a year okay and here if you see this is the client this is the person for whom you are creating the substitute this is the person who will replace him and the person the begin date end date oh, and you just need to mention all here and mark it as x okay 
and here before I do this I want to show you how it looks here uh, I'll go into edit substitution and there's nothing here okay. now we will see how it looks there now okay so where is it okay now I'll execute yeah so it has been executed now what we can do is we can just go into this place and we'll go to settings workflow settings and edit substitution still not there but we can see can we refresh here something uh, can I go here workflow yes can I shift see suddenly it became 108 so you can see since I created the substitute now I have 108 items so this is a smart way where someone has left the has left for some reason he's out of town or he's having an unfortunate time uh, attacked by some virus or he has left the company there are items that spending that you can just create a substitute and that's it you get everything that he had so this is the way of creating a substitute when that person is not there and you don't have to log in also with that user id password because you will never get it because that's a privacy issue this is the function module that you are going to use rh object sub subst underscore list underscore server and i again mention what i'm passing is the client the first person the person who is leaving or who is in out for vacation or something and the person who is replacing him and the start date and the end date and you put all and this and this will show right away so this is the way you will create a substitute for a person who has who is who cannot access the system or has left the company but the business should go continue and you can get all the items in his inbox replicated to another person's inbox so that's it stay tuned to my to my channel and happy SAP learning.